I got the 430 code on the car. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going off to uh, Home Depot. Pick me up some uh, black of thinner. I'm going to give that a shot and see how that works. 430 code, that's nothing but the uh, converters need to be replaced or they're inefficient. And before I do that, I'll give this a shot. The light's on right now. I'm not resetting the light. All right, guys, picked up the lacquer thinner, clean strip lacquer thinner, medium drying thinner. I'm going to give that a shot. It's one gallon. I'm going to put that in the tank. I saw this on a uh, video on YouTube, and he recommended, I think his name was Scott, um, he recommended a whole gallon with the half a tank of fuel. I got about three quarters of a tank uh, of fuel, so I'm just going to put that in there. Let's just see how it goes. I'm not trying to prove that he was right or wrong. This is just a last ditch effort. See if the light goes out. All right, here it goes. I got the funnel. People looking at me all weird and shit. And we're just gonna pour it right in. It goes one gallon of lock it in and my gas tank. I got people looking at me like, what the hell is this guy doing over here? Crazy. But we'll see. I'm just going to drive this vehicle normal. He recommends you drive it for like 100 to 200 miles until the gas tank's empty. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to drive it normal every day. See what happens. All right. Go ahead and clean this all up. Button it up and uh, take it on the road. Container is empty, it's done. Clean up my funnel. What's cool about it is it actually just evaporates. So that's all set. I'm gonna go use their trash to get rid of the uh, lock it in a can and the paper towels. All right, let's go ride this thing. I got a few errands to run and uh, we're gonna go see if that check engine light, I'll show you that it's on right now. We'll see if it resets itself. Like I said, I'm not trying to prove anybody right or wrong. I'm just gonna give this a shot before I replace the cats at some point. Doesn't hurt, right? It's 15 bucks, 15.77 for the uh, um, the product, the uh, gallon of lack of dinner. So I spend more on that, just on uh, like gasoline uh, uh, dryer stuff and um, um, fuel injector cleaner. All right, we're in the car. I'm gonna go ahead and just start her up for you. As you can see, the car's got 58,131 miles. You can see the check engine light is actually on, okay? It's giving me the 430 code. See my gauge is just above three quarters. One last thing I wanted to do, this is my average mileage. It's 18.1, that's combined city and uh, highway driving, normal driving for the week. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset that and uh, see what we can get that to go up to using the lack of thinner. See if that mileage uh, um, per gallons will go up after weeks of driving. All right, what I've noticed so far is that the uh, vehicle is not smoking. There's no weird smoke coming out of my exhaust or anything like that. So, you know, everything seems normal. I've been driving it for about five minutes at this point. And uh, I mean, it's riding the same way it always ridden. Uh, it always rides. So nothing unusual at this point. So I'm driving with the overdrive off to um, just get the engine to rev around that 2,000, 2,500 RPM area. I do want to show you something uh, on, the, on the exhaust. All right, here's my tailpipe. Now this exhaust was not this dirty or carboned up. And there's a shitload of carbon coming out of this thing. So I don't know if that's due to the locket thinner or if that's the, you know, stuff just cleaning everything out inside or what. But I'm gonna just wipe this down. I'm gonna drive some more because I got a few more appointments to go to with the kids. And then we'll see if this gets bad again. So far the car seems to be running pretty good. Uh, at some point, I think 10 or 12 miles down the road, it felt like something changed in the vehicle. Takeoff and everything is really good. I mean, it wasn't bad before, but 
now it just seems really, really good. Uh, and it idles really smooth for some reason. So we'll see. Now, as you can see, getting a lot of silk coming out of this thing. I don't know if that's from the lacquer or if it's actually cleaning out the exhaust. See, it's all dirty again. So I don't know what's going on. What are you doing? Up to 58,259 miles. Check engine light still on. All right, so I'm over 100 miles now. Gone through about half a tank. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, folks, quick update. I'm at the gas station. I just filled up my uh, fuel tank. All right, so I've used all that fuel with the uh, lacquer thinner in it. All right, car's running good still. Idle's really good. Look at that needle. It doesn't even move. It's definitely uh, seen a big improvement on that idle. All right, we got 58,463 on this vehicle now. And as you can see, the check engine light is on. So I've driven this just over 300 and some miles. The original miles we started at, what, 131. So not over 500 yet. The light is still on. I want to see if this light will reset itself and uh, stay off. So I'm not going to do anything... Uh, Right now, I'm just gonna keep driving it till we hit at least 500 miles and see if it resets itself. I'd like to say that I'm um, reporting in with a uh, no error code on the car. It reset itself, the light's out, and uh, I'm impressed. It's been out since yesterday, has it come back on. Here's the mileage, 58, 538. Originally, we started with 58, 131, I believe. So I did about 407 miles on the car. And as you can see, there's no check engine light. Nothing at all. Whatever this shit does, the lock it thinner, it, it, it works pretty damn good. One other thing I want to show you is my average mileage. As you can see, I'm getting average city highway now. Uh, I got 19.7 all uh, for uh, the average mileage. So mileage went up a little bit like 1.6 i think it was 18.1 before you know this stuff damn man it works for me saved me quite a bit of money i mean there's three converters on this freaking car and, and i think it was like 1500 bucks to replace this now i bought this car knowing that there was a converter issue but uh and i figured even spending the money to replace those i, I still got a good deal on the vehicle this was a last ditch effort before i replaced those converters and uh, it worked man two days no light so long as I've gone so far without the light. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for the subscribers. Appreciate you guys and uh, and ladies, of course. Or should I say YouTubers? And yeah, give it a shot. The shit works. Bye-bye.